What is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04, and welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to continue the Manifest Destiny for this episode. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night so far. Uh, I am trying to. Uh, Pretty cool customer. Feel better. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Obviously, not for a minute, but we're going to go over here, use the game well, and figure out what's going on. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. Parker or Green? I don't know who'd be worse. So, I am still sick, but I'm feeling much better now than I was on Monday. So that's good. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I you drive. See. I need to go over the case notes. We're gonna go Fine. back to where are we headed? Kelso's apartment. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? No, no one's gonna tell you what's going Jack on. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I hope that cut the audio. Like you don't hear me echoing again. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Huh. Well, we're interviewing him. Um, army surplus morphine. You know there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine. That has nothing to do with me. Uh, right off the bat, um, I'm going to say doubt. I'm okay, sure that's it would correct. be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys. But the truth is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Ex-Marine. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Truth? Okay. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. Stolen. Arm stolen. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Oof. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. 
You do too. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is the Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Oh boy. We got a stakeout down on second later tonight. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged today? Hey, go to the diner. Jesus. Ooh, yep, let's just crash right into that. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That pedestrian got out of the way just in time. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Get in close and scare him off the tar. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Take the shot from here, Cole. Did that hit someone? I got that thing, and I'm like, wait, did I actually hit someone? Let's identify this idiot. Whoa. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Yeah, well, that looks like to be not happening. Ah, <sighs> oh, 
Yeah, nothing over there. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Yeah, it looks like a uh, 50 cal. Or, uh, whatchamacallit cal. Nah, we don't do these. Oh, we can't investigate this guy? We can't investigate this car either? Uh. I kind of hope we're not missing anything. Oh my god. Where's his gun at? It's kind of weird. Where do we go from here, though? Oh. Okay, well, we could go to the Chinese theater. To go figure out what's going on over there. You know the way. You can drive. Yeah, you know the way. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. This is true. hell getting close and steer him off the tar why it's no good we need to get closer getting close and steer him off the tar I'll try for the tires keep your foot down asshole off the road. <laughs> the post office, Cole, and be quick about it. Ah, shit, shit, out of my way. LAPD, <laughs> put your hands in the air. <laughs> what is it with these people shooting at us? Can you drive to this one? I just love how he right, stands there. You? I love how he stands there and he's just like in a T-pose type position. Well, let's go to the uh, Hollywood post office. You're behind the wheel. Yeah. Oh no.
We have a shootout now. Do we fail or that mission? At least a week to get an ID. <coughs> Tell Courtney. B bad luck. Worth a try. Oh. God. Yo, someone start CPR. Polar Bear Ice Company. You really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance. Can someone to start rich. CPR on this person? Wouldn't you risk it? I mean, at least try and save them first. Wait, how come we can't look at the chest? No. There's a reason why we can't look at the chest. Nope. All right, whatever. So now what? We got this guy back here. Get that. Oh, that's a machine gun. Okay. dead war buddy you check his pockets too Okay, okay. No, I don't think we can check his pockets. Oh, no, we can. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Juski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. How did we make it out alive? That's a good question. Well, 
you have cases to solve. <laughs> you can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Oh my god. Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. This isn't looking good. Dude, shut up. I feel up. like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Well, how can you really prove it? You might want to turn off your light, dude. APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APL to Car 11K. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a Roger. Car 11 King on route. <laughs> oh my god. Can you drive to this one? <sighs> Where are we going? Hollywood Police Station. Apparently, we got a Courtney Sheldon interviewing us. Well, wanting to interview with me, so we shall see. Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's going to have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. Ooh. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. Interesting. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. You're in interview too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief that it was okay. Interview room two, huh? And then the last calls and says he's Reception. Interview room one and two. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Verse two. I'm drunk, I'll bet. Or doped up. He's oh. That arrested that movie producer. What's up, buddy? It's about time for those movies. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. All right, Sixth Marines being targeted. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult considering they're all dead. 
That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Yeah, I can. I'm lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Um. I let's say the shooter's notebook. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. What about the courage you robbery? On the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Lie. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Uh, wouldn't it be the confession? Yeah, tell Courtney. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Good lord. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole.
What the hell? Demoted. Wow, dude, a demotion. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will catch you guys all on Friday with the, uh, what's it called? Spec Ops The Line. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out.